There are signs that India's COVID-19 infection curve is finally flattening. Daily COVID-19 cases have risen by close to 350,000, significantly lower than the highs that we saw last week. But experts are warning that it's too early to celebrate. The head of India's main health agency says most of the country should remain under lockdown for up to eight more weeks. Bodies continue to wash up on the banks of the Ganges. The discovery of these suspected COVID-19 victims have stoked fears that the virus is raging unseen in India's vast rural hinterlands, where more than two-thirds of its population lives. इसकी जानकारी प्रशासन को पहले दे दी गई थी कि यहाँ पर लकड़ी के अभाव में और जो है लकड़ी के अभाव में यहाँ पर जो है जल प्रवाह किया जा रहा है जिसमें गहमर करहिया खुदरा बिहार के सीमावर्ती इलाके पचौरी सायर ये लगभग बारह तेरह गांव के जल प्रवाह यहाँ पर that's fueling sentiment that the death toll in India is several times higher than the official number of a quarter of a million. The chief of the Indian Council of Medical Research says lockdown curbs should remain in place in all districts, where the infection rate is above 10% of those tested. That would apply to 75% of districts in India, including major cities like New Delhi and Mumbai. It's recommending a lockdown of up to eight weeks, saying reopening too quickly could spell disaster. Ishan Garg joins us live now for more. Ishan, infections are slowing in major cities, but it's a different story in the hinterlands. Absolutely, and what's the most concerning part is that the, there is just absolutely a severe lack of data from these rural areas because these are the places which do not have adequate testing centers, they do not have adequate medical facilities. And to make things worse, uh, there is a massive population that lives in these villages. About 70% of India's population actually lives in villages and not India's cities. And these are also areas where there is a massive problem of scientific illiteracy. So I've been speaking to doctors and health experts who are saying that a number of people in these villages are not able to diagnose their symptoms or even understand if they've got COVID-19, leading to issues such as late admission into hospitals if they're even lucky to get one. And the damage in rural areas, COVID-19 that's doing right now, is absolutely going to be massive. But unfortunately, because of a lack of data, there is no clear understanding of really how bad the situation is. Now, there are several non-government organizations which have taken the initiative of counting deaths in villages. And they are saying that the number of cremations or burials taking place in villages are at least 10 to 12 times higher than the official numbers that are reflected by the government. So, of course, the pandemic is taking a massive toll in the uh, in the rural areas. Now, government says that it is working to set up field hospitals and send more resources uh, to the country's hinterland. But experts are saying that the uh, historic uh, injustice that has been done to the village's public health care system, it cannot be undone with just a few public health, uh, public, uh, you know, hospitals and field hospitals set up in just a few weeks. At the same time, Ishan, the virus variant, it's fueling the surge in India, but it's also making its way around the world. Absolutely. The World Health Organization has said that 4,500 samples tested uh, have shown that uh, more than 40 countries now have uh, the India variant, the B1617, the double mutant coronavirus. And uh, all six regions that WHO operates in have uh, got this particular strain. So it's literally made its way uh, around the world. And uh, Indian authorities have sounded the alarm saying that they are concerned about the increased infectiousness of this particular strain. And public health experts are saying that although there is a lot more research to be done and a lot more studying of the data that has to still come in, uh, but there are concerns that this is a variant that uh, could escape immunity, which means that it could reinfect people who've uh, already got COVID-19 and people who've been vaccinated. Uh, the Indian uh, Health Ministry in a press conference has said that they do see the reason for vaccines to be upgraded in the future because this mutation, although 
Uh, there is not sufficient data at the moment, but there is enough to suggest that it could mutate further and uh, the severity of the disease caused by it could also increase. And at the same time, it's uh, causing the Indian government a bit of a PR nightmare as well. Uh, there are experts who are saying that because of uh, the association of the variant with India, the country's image is also going to take a hit as per the government's mind. And that's something that the government may be looking to remedy because it's already facing massive criticism uh, due to its handling of the pandemic in the country. Uh, but at the same time, there are uh, people who are calling for a nationwide lockdown and hopes remain that once movement uh, restrictions on movement are applied in most of the country, uh, we will be able to see a significant drop in cases. Ishan, thank you. Ishan Garg there with the latest from New Delhi.